Rebecca, you, you reassured us this morning that if we e-publish our book and it goes viral, then that will certainly not put off publishing houses for, from scooping us up. Did I say that? Uh, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I really wanted to know. I, particularly, I wanted to reassure if I e-publish my book, how will agents view me? Will I that mean, disqualify me from getting an agent? In there? There's two different... There's two different things sides to that and then I'm going to pass over to this chap to my right because he will know more about some of this than I than I would um, one side of it is if you want to run if you want to view yourself as a self-employed writer and you're looking at yourself in the long term rather than just thinking I need to get a book deal right now and you have a plan and you have set up a plan for yourself over the next 20 30 years that incorporates the kind of life that you want and the time that you want to spend with your family and the amount of control you're willing to give up and to whom you're willing to outsource and with whom you would like to negotiate once you've done that if looking at that it makes sense for you to self publish then it doesn't matter what the agents think or the publishers think that's what you need to do because that's a business decision that you made as a business person from my perspective, when I self-published, I was immediately approached by a bunch of agents and a bunch of publishers, and I turned down a bunch of agents and a bunch of publishers. But that's just me. So there, there was something that did actually hold me back from self-publishing, because I heard this story that, you know, oh, they won't touch you with a barge pole. I don't have a problem. I even have agents and publishers sitting there saying, look, any time you decide you're bored with self-publishing, just give me a call. So it's not a problem. <laughs>